Hello one and all, this one I'm going to show you how to find a principal value of 1 plus i raised to the 4i. So first I'm going to be write this as e to the log with the capital L because we're finding the principal value 1 plus i times 4 times i. The reason is that the e and this log functions are basically inverses. So you could cancel them off and get back down to 1 plus i as the base, in other words, this original expression. So what we need to do now is find log of 1 plus i. So that's what we're going to focus on, okay? So here, first of all, I need to find the magnitude of 1 plus i. So when I do that, it's going to be the square root of 1 plus 1, which is the square root of 2. In other words, in the picture here, it's just this value, right? The radius that goes from here to here, because that's the complex number 1 plus 1i. So you see, when you take 1 squared plus 1 squared, and the square root symbol is going to give you the square root of 2. That's the Pythagorean theorem. It just gives you the length of it. Now, we also need to find the angle that this number makes. So here. The angle of 1 plus i, I'm going to do with the tangent inverse function, and I'm going to write here 1 over 1, which is pi over 4. And the reason for that is that if you look at this, never mind the fact that we're in a complex plane, just pretend for a second that, for example, like this here is 1, and this is also 1. So the tangent inverse of the 1 from the i, which is the top uh, 1, <laughs> and the 1 from here, which is like the x, basically, on the standard unit circle, gives you pi over 4. So the angle is pi over 4. So here I'm going to move on. So now basically 1 plus i becomes the square root of 2 times e to the i pi over 4. So I'm rewriting my number from this 1 plus i form into this exponential form. So this is the radius, the magnitude, if you like, the modulus, the length of the number, times e, i, and then the angle that the number makes with respect to the positive horizontal axis. So that basically means just this angle right here. Now let's move on. So I'm going to find log of 1 plus i by writing the log. And this 1 plus i can now be replaced with the square root of 2 times e to the i pi over 4. And now I'm going to just go transition to the normal natural log function ln. So by the basic rules of logarithms, I'm going to write this as ln of the square root of 2 plus the ln of e to the i pi over 4. The reason is because we are multiplying those two quantities above my head, so you can just split them apart until sum of two different logarithms. That's all. And then here, the ln of the square root of 2, that's the normal ln. So that's just going to stay as the ln of the square root of 2. But this other part right here, it says ln of e to the i pi over 4. Well, the ln and the e functions are inverses, so you can cross them off, which means at the end, all that would remain would be i times pi over 4. So this expression above my head, ln of the root of 2 plus i pi over 4, that just represents like this, okay? Log uh, of 1 plus i. So now, e to the log 1 plus i times 4 pi for i <laughs> can be written as e to the ln root 2 plus i pi over 4 times 4i. So all I've done is I've replaced log of 1 plus i with the ln of the square root of 2 plus i times pi over 4. Because we did all of that work above to find that it's equivalent. Now I'm going to take this 4i, I'm going to distribute it to the i pi over 4, and I'm going to distribute it to the ln of the root of 2 individually. So it's going to give me e to the ln of the root of 2 times 4i plus now let's be careful with that second part, right? So you're going to have the i from here times the i from here. That's going to give me i squared. I'm going to have pi over 4 times the 4. So pi over 4 times 4, for that reason in that position above my head. Let's simplify this a little bit. So the ln of the root of 2 times 4i, I just left it in that form. It's true that, for example, because the 4 is multiplying the ln, you could simplify that piece a little bit, okay? Just keep that in mind if you wanted to. And it's going to be here, i squared. So i squared is going to become negative 1. And this 4 and that 4 in the bottom will cancel off. So it's going to give you, for that reason, e to the ln, the root of 2, 4i, minus pi. Again, i squared becomes negative 1. The 4 and the 4 cancel off, so you end up with just pi in that position. I'm going to break this up. So because it's subtracting here, I'm going to say that it's e to the negative pi, separated away from e to the ln, the root of 2, 4i. You can do that. It's a basic property of exponents. So what I can do now is just put all these pieces together. So if it's going to be e to the negative pi. That's going to come out here as e to the negative pi, the whole thing on the outside. Now for the second piece, e to the ln, square root of 2, 4i. Well, you see that it's e, and there's an i present. So you can write it in a cosine and sine form, if you like. So you can do the following, in other words. You're going to rewrite e to the ln root of 2, 4i as cosine of ln of the root of 2, 4, plus i times the sine of the ln of the root of 2 times 4. <laughs> Try saying that 
two times fast. <laughs> okay, so here the only thing I would say at this point is this last step, you know, in bigger letters there's pretty much the last step, the finished work. Only thing I would observe is you very likely want to simplify this expression because that four, that could be applied to the square root, so it would become two to the one half to the fourth, which would then be, well, then you have to work that out, okay? So that can be simplified. You can in use, in other words, remember the natural log function, the basic ln function has a power rule. So you can take that 4 and multiply it to the exponent on the 2, which is 1 half. I didn't do that. You can do that as an exercise to finish it up, perhaps. But that's it. Thanks so much. I'll see you in another video. Please leave a like and subscribe.